the Blur Mob podcast three years later. So how have we been feeling? Seeing the change from where it's where it was before I uh, joined to where we are now, it's, I think it's been a huge change where we are. And it's like, we still progressing. We just started doing some new stuff. So, I mean, we're continuously improving. We paying attention to the algorithm and everything now, so. It's been going smoother. It's been, it's been going a lot smoother. I would say it's less stressful. Uh, just, you know, from the start. At the same time of us doing this podcast, We're also growing up into adults and stuff and like life happens. Well, it's been a fun experience so far, hopping on the live streams and such. You know, shooting the shit, giggling, you know, making, yeah. you know, little sound bites in the room. So yeah, it's been a pretty good experience. So what what would you say your favorite experience has been? I would say my favorite experience is the live streams, hopping on the live streams and just talking and interacting with y'all and the people in the comments and just I'll say to this day, my favorite form of content that we produce f um, before the mob reviews is probably our tournaments. Yeah, I like to interact with the people. That's, you know, uh, I, my best material comes from, you know, just in a pre-recorded mm -hmm. episode, you're going to get the best of me. Real know? improvised. We like yeah, that. Yeah, real off the top of the head, real, you know, what is he going to say next? We don't know. And I just remember having a lot, a lot, a lot of fun during the, um, what was it, the Cartoon Network tournament? The one that had the pink design? But also the collaborations as well. And I specifically like that it's collaborations with people that we don't interact with on a daily basis. Being, being able to really just keep up with, um, you know, like-minded people, you know, find like-minded people, be able to talk with like-minded people. I feel like that was the moment where I really felt like people are really, you know, fucking with our content. And be able to also talk with people that have different point of views than us. It also, you know, creates that conversation. It creates a, a space of curiosity. We did DreamCon as the Blur My Podcast, and that was pretty good. That was that was a good experience getting our faces out there, you know, especially as like as an upcoming podcast, as an upcoming podcast stream. Handing out stickers and cards and talking to people and, you know, meeting other people that do podcasts and other like, content creation and stuff like that so um just getting our faces out there and i know we're going to be doing it a lot more and i think i've already enjoyed it but i think i'm going to enjoy that even more like moving on in the future especially as we get bigger as a podcast because i also like to engage with people being able to meet all these folks and actually work with them it's just been fun like being able to network meet like-minded individuals especially when they're black and nerdy like it's all that's always really fun and entertaining to experience so what are you guys looking forward to as the Blurred Mob continues? I'm looking forward to a year from now because we, we, from the business side, we really did set a vision when it comes to like how we handle this algorithm and everything. And like, I do feel like I want this to be, kind of be people's comfort space. So I'm looking forward to like a year from when we started doing this, how much improvement did we see? I think I would just like for us to become that home for uh, more people and however I can help us get to that point is i would say the biggest achievement for, for myself at least as long as we continue to you know stay true to ourselves you know anything is possible like breaking the vibes making people feel good making us a group to want to watch and engage and be entertained by i just i just enjoy coming to you know have a conversation about the things mm -hmm. that you know, going on in normal day life. And be like, you know what? He's funny. He's nice. And just feel good in the inside when they're watching us and, all, and just really receive all our hot takes. Overall, I'm just looking forward to continue working with you guys. And if we stay in, um, like I said before, like we always come in with like passion about these ideas and high intensity. And when we go in when, even when we start something new like we always come in with a positive attitude and it, where we feel like we fail we always we we grow from it 2024 has been a big year uh we've gotten more subscribers we've added more mm -hmm. content more segments um i would i appreciate the growth and i like that i can contribute more and i've gained um taking on those abilities and skills necessary to support the team like especially when i work on stuff on the back end it's the way to like exercise my creativity with making graphics and stuff like this we still send um 
drafts to each other just to you know make sure everybody's on one accord we all work full time for anybody watching this like all of us are like <laughs> five six years into our careers now even though we're having fun at the end of the day it is a commitment which is why i always say i'm grateful that you guys are like sticking with it that we've been able to stick with it for the past three years and keeping those commitments and like even though i mean i know y'all joke all the time about how y'all not getting paid or whatever but i but i'm just saying like i greatly appreciate that you know three years later we still we're still showing up to meetings we're still having these intense conversations about how we want to do different segments and designs and things like that that we still care honestly it's been a journey hands up if you love them where you at, stand ten toes down, shot they ain't no looking at. Hey. No looking mad. You can let them haters hate when they answer where I'm smiling. I just tell them life's great. Like